about 52% of city dwellers commute by walking. In 2018, pedestrian data was collected at the La Paz intersection and within that catchment area, we were able to estimate about 204,000 pedestrians within a 12 hour period from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. In any situation where you have a vehicle, which is a metallic object, coming into some kind of contact with a human being, which is a soft tissue body, When that impact happens, the likelihood of the human being suffering a serious injury or even death is very high. Recent studies also shows that out of 138 road crash fatalities recorded in 2020, 77 were pedestrians, 38 were motorcyclists, and these constitute about 85% of the people that suffered road crash fatalities on the road. These constitute the vulnerable groups on our roads. Thereby, effort must be made to protect the vulnerable groups and ensure mobility and safety. Studies have shown clearly that vehicles that move on our roads, especially our major highways, go beyond their speed limit. In fact, over 90% of these vehicles go beyond the speed limit. And so it becomes an issue because pedestrians are knocked down. The National Road Safety Authority, uh, over the past number of years, have conducted studies. And the findings are that speeding is very high in, in Ghana both on the highways and in the urban areas. A recent study conducted by John Hopkins University in 2019 suggests that 77% of the vehicles on our roads were overspeeding. This alarming data prompted us to activate our interventions, thereby advising and working closely with urban roads, the feeder roads, and all those institutions that are mandated to look at the road infrastructure, to look at the engineering of our roads. And by 2020, this number has reduced to 62%. We are still not encouraged by the 62%. And our ultimate goal is to have zero crashes is what we are aiming at, so that city dwellers will move about in safety and happily. Generally, the speed situation in the city of Accra is, is not the best. Most uh, drivers uh, go normally above the speed limit, especially on the N1 and N6 routes. And I think it's a major concern to almost all motorists and residents as well. Binumo, a comrica, any one say yako. It's a ma acquaintia, a ba, bibri, awaha, a bu, a bipra. On the Accra Tema motorway in particular, where the law requires a maximum speed limit of 100 kilometers per hour, but you can have on a typical day none of the vehicles that will be using that particular road complying with the speed limit. We do speed enforcement because. Speeding has been identified as having a direct relationship with death or serious injury. Me and Kasa, we could speed in maybe Emma police, Emma Mitty, as they say, speeding now make or no, a whom here, and yet M1 me, M1 man, and so. And Penny and Pano, or Mujer, me and me too, me cano, me the answer, a two me speeding a home, a home say, Men Quampuna ain't here, me. As I said, I said, I said, I So it is very, very critical that we deal with speeding in our road safety management. As a young child, my favorite auntie suffered a crash with a motorcycle. 
Even though we did not lose her, she lost her ability to speak and had to live with a disability of being deaf and dumb for the rest of her adult life. Who said, Nkrahano, Nipa Dorson? The son said, Nipa Dorson, Nipa and a car at a shishimo. And to yes, baby, a bones and Nipa and a car, ever bar personal. Cahon was speed limited or Monteso, Emra Bess at thirty kilometers per hour, and answer a dear Sanka home runner. Yan Teso, said the Abbey, I drive a Nibia between a slow down, or Babia, Nipa a bar peso. Now, Ma and Quencia, ah, if you hoon, and you know, you hoon view. According to a research carried out by the World Resources Institute in looking at speeding vehicles and pedestrian safety, when a vehicle traveling at 30 km per hour hits a pedestrian, the pedestrian has a 10% risk of death, which means a 90% chance of survival. But if that same vehicle traveling at 50 km per hour hits the pedestrian, then the pedestrian has an 85% risk of death, and meaning a 15% risk of survival. Low speed streets saves lives and are the heart of any community. And that is why we are committed to ensure that people drive at a reasonably low speed. We support low speed on our roads here in Accra because evidence around the world shows that low speed reduces the risk of serious injuries and save lives on our roads. It's important that at locations where pedestrian-related activities are high, speeds are reduced to the barest minimum. Reducing speed on our road is also part of our strategy of achieving zero emissions on our road. We are committed to ensure that we reduce the fatalities and injuries on our roads to its barest minimum. As an authority, our mandate is to ensure that we promote, develop, and also coordinate road safety and ensure that people are safe on our roads. It is said that one life lost is too many lives to be lost. And so irrespective of the social or economic class of persons, it is important that our streets are always made safer for all road users. As mayor of this city, I advocate for lower speeds on streets where people and traffic mix. This will help prevent road traffic deaths and promote physical activity. As head of the National Road Safety Authority, I advocate for lower speeds on streets where people and traffic mix. I stand for 30 kilometers per hour. 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 That's 30. That's 30. Love 30. Love 30. Don't add your son. Love 30. Love 30. Love 30. Love 30. Me don't add your son. I stand for 30 kilometers per hour. Love 30. <laughs>